Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 24th through the 30th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cancer, what is going on here for you? <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love, by what it seems, by what it kind of appears here in the reading too so let's see in the recent past the five of swords the queen of swords the star pretty um you're showing me i want something i want something really 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 bad like this is what i, I want this deck of cards this is my life's goal to have this deck of cards uh which is bullshit whatever it is you're showing up in thinking that you want is not that you're not you you don't want that I mean, you do from a mind perspective, from a perspective of you think you want that, that doesn't mean that that's, you know, for your soul's purpose or for your highest good, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. It's not a deck of cards, I hope. It could be, it could be, because the mind works in crazy ways. But, um, you know, it's not, no. Mm -mm. In the current situation, the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups. I don't know if you noticed the balance there between the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And in the middle, action. Um, so there's definitely a whole lot of love being shared between you and another energy at this point. Or, if not, the intention is definitely there on both parts for this heart-to-heart -heart kind of an energy to be shared. Now, in the immediate future, the Death card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Pentacles. Things are getting very, 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 very close, if not even there, to the possibility of something ending completely. And then, there's a turn of a page there, to the point of, hold on, is this done or not done? Can we work on this or not? Can you know? So it's, it's, very, it's getting very close into, we're done here. Definite, done, dead and buried. That's it, we're done. And then, all of a sudden, things flip into, hmm, are we? You know? So, okay. That's going to be an interesting reading. Let's do the Ace of Cups. For the overall energy, the Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups. Someone is thinking a little too much about... So there's the energy of a brand new beginning, especially when it comes to love. And again, I kind of see it in available, at least, in the reading. And someone's taking this energy and is feeling it, right? It starts to feel really good. It's like, oh my god, there's potential here. Oh my god, this feels so good. Hmm, let's start thinking about it. That's the worst possible thing you could do to this kind of energy. Thinking about it instead of just feeling it. So someone is definitely complicating things when things are pretty clear, you know? It's the energy of love. That's it. What is there to think about, you know? And the more someone is thinking about things and trying to figure things out when it comes to... I don't know what, because as I said, it's the energy of love. Um, the more someone does that, thinks about things, the more they get disconnected from the actual feeling. And they're missing the feeling that just kind of flows by here it's like grab onto it feel it it's nice feel it as it is as it lasts then let it go it's gonna come back you know when it's time but for now this is the energy available and because let's say this is you that's overthinking things you're not even seeing it flow in front of you you know because it's like oh i'm spotting something oh i think it's love mm, let me start to overthinking and by the time it gets here and flows it's like uh what was I thinking about? You know, kind of like that. It's like, what, what was a what started this? You know, um, thought train here. Let's do the five of swords in the recent past, the four of swords, the moon, the three of wands. All right, 
Let me do the Queen of Swords and then we'll clarify. And then let me do the clarify. And then let me do the star and then we'll talk about it. That's what I meant. So for the Queen of Swords, you get, let's do this again so that you get all the cards. For the Five of Swords, you get the Four of Swords, the Moon, the Three of Wands. For the Queen of Swords, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Strength, the Ten of Wands. For the Star, you get the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. This is spinning in circles here. So there's a partnership involved in this one somehow. And the intention here for this partnership is for things to work out to be balanced. The energies around it take it from balance to unbalance, balance to unbalance, balance to unbalance. It's, it's not even the energies of the partnership, it's the energies of whoever's creating the partnership. Where one day you may be like, mm, I want for this to work out. The next day you may be sabotaging the whole thing so that it doesn't work out. That's why it's showing up deceptive, because, okay, at the source of this desire is for this partnership to work out. That I can believe. Okay, that's what you really, really want for that moment in time. And then how you go around it is almost sabotaging it, poking it with sabotaging energy so that it fails. That's why it's showing up deceptive. You know, so do you really want this or do you want to fuck this up? You know, what's the what's the deal here? Um, cause you keep on spinning under the same energies here for a while, for a while around this partnership. Uh, okay. It's time to chill. It's time to work on things. It's time to make this happen. It's time to, you know, and allow the time for things to chill, to, to just work out. And then, okay, let's start putting in effort to, to build it into something beautiful into, oh man, but it's so hard to put in effort. It was way easier when we just didn't do shit. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh. And then showing me ways in which, you know, this partnership seems stable, but it's not. So that tells me that someone made it look stable from the outside, but they knew the truth. They knew that mm, this is not, no. No, it's making me feel certain ways that I don't like. So this is not stable, you know. So there's a lot of little lies in there, here and there, um, which come from not only you. I'm not saying you created this by all means. This is definitely a product of both energies, you know, coming at this. Now, let's see where things are right now with the King of Cups. For the King of Cups, you get the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. This is a great freaking energy. You know, it's the energy of fully open heart. And I'm coming towards you from that place. And I'm going to approach you and I'm going to know exactly how to approach you because my heart is telling me. You know, sometimes a little stronger, sometimes a little softer, sometimes this, that and the other. The mind has nothing to do with this. It's the energy of the heart that keeps on guiding me through this. So it looks like you, could be you, could be the other person. But we got the other person here, too, in terms of whoever this is. The Queen of Cups is definitely the other person. So if this is you, this is them. If this is them, this is you. All right. Great energy there. Let's do the Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords. Oof. Let me do the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, for the Queen of Cups, you get the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Magician. Definitely on the same page here in terms of I feel this, whoever this is tied up to, they feel the same way. Uh, different approaches in the way that uh, the energies are being, you know, put out. But the end goal is the same. I love you, so I'm going to show you that. Through different means, then you're going to show me that you love me. Both great options doesn't matter how it just matters that this energy is coming up great now as you bring up this energy in this connection and whoever this is to you is bringing up this energy in this connection even though the goals are the same you put those together you form a third energy here the energy of the connection you're doing this on your side they're doing this on their side 
great. When you put them together, something's coming through that neither of you are showing me at this time, but the connection is showing me that. And there's some sort of pain in there. So that tells me that at least one of you brought in some pain in this connection. That is part of their own baggage, their own past, possibly even tied up to this connection, possibly to others from the past. But someone, someone is still carrying pain there. And as long as this pain is gonna be here, yes, these energies are gonna come through and they're gonna be experienced in a beautiful way, but through a little bit of a distorted channel there, the channel of pain. So I see someone wanting to work on that pain or actively working on that pain. But as long as that pain is there, it's still gonna keep these energies a little bit apart. As much love as there is here to be experienced, to be played with, to to, to have for the situation. Um, again, with that Ace of Swords over the Three of Swords, I kind of get the sense that whoever this is is working actively on their pain. And it could even be the both of you. Hummingbird. Ah, what's up? Um, so yeah, interesting. Let's do the death card in the uh, immediate future. The Eight of Wands, the Fool, the Ten of Swords. Oy. It could be that someone says something, you know, on an impulse. It's definitely shown up as one of those things of, oh, let me blur something out, blah, blah, blah. But it's not something nice. It's something to the extent of, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm done. I don't have to put up with this. I'm tired. Go do something else with your life because I'm not going to be in it. Goodbye. But it does look like one of those energies of bleh. Something pissed me off. You didn't do the dishes tonight, so we're done. Of course, it's coming from other energies that are supporting all of that. But uh, it's it's one of those that, that looks like whoever this is doesn't mean it. You know, uh, even if there are other energies that in the background that they're working on. It doesn't support this statement. You know, um, so it's definitely something that's just blurred out like that. And then for the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Tower. Okay, things are coming to the surface here. I love this. I mean, they look ugly as fuck, but I love that they're coming to the surface because, as I said, within the connection, there's pain. And that pain needs to come to the surface for both of you to see it and to start working on it. Because you are actively working on it, but... The more it's kind of coming up and you get to actually acknowledge it through these kinds of energies, which again, not pretty, quite nasty. Uh, I love that they're coming out because it's like, well, now it's obvious. What are you going to do about it? You know, for the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Tower. Ooh, someone's losing their shit here big time. Someone, someone's losing their false sense of control. That's the most beautiful thing that I can see in healing, you know, uh, someone's losing their grip. Someone thinks they're in control over things and then they get very close to feeling like, oops, I'm losing it. I'm losing control, which again, the best thing that could possibly happen for someone to actually heal. Um, hmm. This is turning into a shit show, but a very beautiful shit show of if you catch this one and heal this one, you're freaking golden. Whoever you are, either you or them or the both of you. The Two of Pentacles, you get the Death card, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, as this unfolds, and it's going to be a lot of energy at once here, and not the greatest energy. And it's going to lead you into a place of believing that this is done, this is done and over with. I'm done. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm done here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You know, uh, for them too, possibly. But as this, these energies unfold and they bring up to the surface all of this, give yourself as much love, nurturing, and gentleness as possible through this. Take care of yourself. Do not forget to take care of yourself. Don't do it in the impulsive way of, I'm done here. I'm just going to go to the beach and I'm not going to give a shit about anything. 
I'm just gonna go do that and I'm gonna feel marvelous because you won't feel marvelous that's not the, the kind of self-care I'm talking about and love that you can give to yourself you know take that step back that you need to be taking out of this to try to observe what's going on here and then deal with it from there you know um ooh, this is getting intense there but again i feel like it's all tied up to this energy of pain that the connection still holds individually you're showing up beautiful put those together form that third energy and the shit show is about to unfold which again to me it's kind of like a blessing because you can actually see it and start working with it from what you see and what you feel some people carry this you know within their connection they don't even see it they're blind to it um but this is like slap in your face kind of a thing um from the universe as a final advice you get the five of cups the higher from the four of swords yeah, these are st still things that are popping up from your past, your individual pasts, yours and theirs, and they're coming together and they're going to fight against each other, you know, in terms of energies. So there's still unhealed energies at play for this connection. And they're definitely attached to the connection more than they are to you or to them. Of course, it's your own duty to, to work on your past and pain and whatever it is that's yours. And then to do the same for them, because it's your energies that are forming this, you know? So eventually, it's going to be up to you to look into what's unhealed there, what's left unturned, you know? So, yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.